Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today is me doing, yes, the challenge that everyone has heard or have done. The 100 heads challenge. Now, I know what you're thinking. I must be crazy and whatnot, but I'll explain it. But anywho, first off on day one, I, go, I went ahead and used my red pencil that I use. And all my other days, I from here on out, I use my Jelly Roll Sakura um, Vibrant um, Neon pens um i'll link everything i use during these challenge down in the description but anywho as i was talking about the first day <laughs> was just something to me i went in with confidence knowing i was just going to do it for fun and make it kind of realistic but also my more my style because i was comfortable with it and so the first day went with like a great bang the second day was kind of tough for me <laughs> And you can tell later on when I get tired because the faces look kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, there was like some wrinkles and stuff, you know, old men wrinkles. So that was that was really fun to do and really tough for me at the same time. I'll try not to add shading either was what I was trying to do. I was just trying to do flat and get over with the 100 heads challenge. I just wanted it to be done and over with. But yeah, the third day, which you'll see in a minute, um, was just something for me it was even more wrinkles and beards and stuff so i was just like oh thank god there's a girl on this page because it was tough for me and i messed up on the guy's ear and the head so i was just like whatever i'm tired and whatnot and then of course the lighting changes throughout these whole videos because different um days and whatnot and the position i film at and then the next day after day whatever the heck i said it is <laughs> um i <clears throat> used a posca pen i used different mediums um as you can see here but this one was different because it had horns and stuff and like some more wrinkles and then some feminine faces which i am used to drawing and then the day after that <clears throat> i had more wrinkles and beards and then of course females which i'm used to drawing and then <laughs> another day i um was more comfortable with but i was also tired with and it just keeps going back and forth like wrinkles feminine stuff i'm comfortable with and whatnot but yeah i decided to go ahead and do this challenge with no shading and whatnot because i wanted it to get over with and try to learn how to do different faces and whatnot and kind of change up my style in a way because i've been wanting to but i just don't know how to so this also kind of helped me <clears throat> But I did write in my sketchbook, which you guys will see um, there in my sketchbook tour or when, whenever or whenever I show it at the end of this video, depending if I did or didn't. Um, I decided to do this challenge to get better at realism and to improve overall. I didn't do shading because I got lazy, <laughs> but this challenge was really fun. I also did 10 heads a day and kept up with it somehow. Honestly, I don't know how I kept up with it with work and during the whole day coming home from doing chores and whatnot and like help me my mom and whatnot and then doing it and i i honestly don't know how i found time to do it but i did it and stuck up with it somehow also can we talk about how this is a repeat it, it is this supposed to be a repeat because apparently at the end i had an extra head um yeah is anyone gonna talk about that because i just decided to just redraw it i guess but and then that guy too but i realized it was a different pose from last time but yeah uh I ended up having a extra head, so I just fit it in on the last day. But yeah, it's weird. The last day when you'll see it, I did have an extra head, just letting you guys know somehow. Um, crazy. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, it was kind of weird, but it, I, I did it anyways, because yellow and whatnot. But using the Jelly Roll Sakura pens, the neon ones, was so much fun for me. It just made it more me wanting to keep doing it because it was color compared to just doing like a pencil sketch like other people have done other people have done it with different mediums i just went ahead and used it with the jelly roll pens because i did not feel like doing watercolor with it even though i my main medium is watercolor i just I didn't feel like doing that i don't know how people can do like make the piece look for each head look nice for five 10 a day like how are you doing this and you're crazy <laughs> i honestly don't know how people do that that's why i did it in my pens because it's just it's quicker you know it's permanent lines and whatnot so it just made it more easier for me also that this day right here was just like the best day for me i like that expression i did on that girl on that top right corner 
um, I just felt like I need to work on expressions because during this, I kind of learned some expressions, kind of not, but yeah. Also, we heard that noise in the background. It's just me messing with my sketchbook because I'm looking at the heads I did. But yeah, I kind of effed off on the noses a lot, which is what I need to also focus on in my style because oof, <laughs> I'm still developing my style and trying to figure it out. But drawing these heads every day definitely has helped because drawing every day helps your art. Like. I remember I started to get into art and I wanted to draw and then I just started to decided to just draw every day which helped and these heads honestly have helped me with side profiles to to drawing older men to drawing beards to drawing wrinkles and stuff in different hairstyles and different you know um what the freak is it called um okay I can't even remember what it's called but yeah <laughs> different people and whatnot it was honestly fun to do and I would definitely try doing this challenge again if, um, in the future, later on, maybe like a year or two from now, when hopefully I have developed my style more and hopefully I'll have time to do it. Even though this time I did have time to do it somehow, which is freaking mad crazy for me. And it was just fun overall. <laughs> I honestly hope you guys try this challenge in the future and try to do it. Even if you don't finish them all, at least just try to. It's honestly like helpful for like learning faces to be honest it just helped me in every way i can to drawing men like i said and you know wrinkles and all that jazz it was honestly fun and i know this guy has another challenge which i probably want to partake on take on but i don't know because right now i did this challenge in september right before inktober but you know i'm not doing inktober and doing candytober because of the whole inktober drama crap but yeah i had time to finish it before um candy tober thankfully <laughs> good thing i did it in september because i finished it the heads on september the 21st so i had like a whole break because i was burnt out and i didn't even draw that much because i was drawing heads every day and i feel like that's what's going to happen with me in, in um candy tober right now because i'm i'm getting kind of burnt out but not really because i've been just doing candy tober and drawing the days out for it for like every day as much as i can because usually i draw every day and so that helped me out sketching the days ahead of time and inking them the day of which is really helpful to me and now whenever i do this other challenge that this guy has created i hopefully have time to do it i'm not gonna lie and i hope you guys honestly do try this challenge like i said before because it's just overall fun and like it's really helpful <laughs> to be honest but I did learn a lot from this challenge, I'm not gonna lie. I am surprised I finished it overall. It was just crazy. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, you guys. But, yeah, the um, whole heads challenge, I honestly felt more comfortable drawing the females, of course, because your girl's comfortable drawing females compared to males, and then the wrinkles to the older men and stuff, whatnot, and drawing, like, details and stuff on, like, the first day was what kind of made me feel kind of burnt out in a way but like it was still fun somehow and later on at the end of this video i will show you guys a closer up of all the faces since you guys can kind of see it but not really and i want you guys to have more of a detailed look at it and hopefully i can talk about them more in detail but yeah tell me if you guys have done this challenge before or want to try this challenge down below in the comments because i kind of want to i like reading the comments and knowing about you guys and I just want to know if anyone else has taken part of this challenge or want to overall just because I like being nosy. <laughs> but yeah, and of course it's a challenge. I want to know if any other people have done different challenges or give me challenges to do in the future. Because I have done the three marker challenge already and it's kind of addicting to do. Hopefully I can try doing the two marker challenge and the one marker challenge eventually. But anyway, here are all the first day faces I did closer up. I really like how they look. I'm not gonna lie. Like the details and everything in each one and the shading. Even though I said I wasn't gonna do shading, but I did it for the first day because I was confident in going with it. Now the second day here, you can tell I it was a challenge for me for the male. And the girls was just easy peasy breezy. And yeah, the wrinkles were just something for me and super hard for me to get. But I got through with it somehow in the end. And then day three 
here, I was kind of feeling iffy about it. You can tell I look drained, <laughs> but I still pushed through somehow. I am surprised. And then here's the fourth day, I believe, or whatever. Posca pens. Of course, my sketchbook didn't take a good hold of it, but it did the job done anyway somehow, and it was just tough for me <laughs> at the same time because there is also sculptures and stuff through this whole thing. But I tried, and then this day, I was just like, I was just done. <laughs> I was like, I want to get this challenge over with already and whatnot, but I still did it somehow. Like I said, surprisingly, but... <clears throat> Yeah, this day was kind of easy and kind of wanting to just get it done with, but I still pushed through all these days. It was just difficult for me, to be honest, with my style and doing realism at the same time. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch the closer up of these and whatnot. Well, um, I, I leave, I guess, now because there's nothing else much to say. Um, but anywho, I hope you guys have a good video day night of good video good day or night whenever this video reaches to you i hope you guys enjoy this video and tell me down below if you've done this challenge or not and or want me to try another challenge which will probably end me no i'm kidding many who i hope you guys have a good day whatnot night like i said before and yeah <laughs> bye guys <laughs>